What's going on guys, it's Harrison's Hobbies. This is the most excited I've been to open up video. Um, and that is because it's the Legendary Collections. So the first one is the Game Board Edition. We're gonna open these up in order. I've got the Game Board Edition for GX and for the Gods. So this is this is it, man. I'm, I am so excited to open these. I'm gonna be buying more of these, but I just wanted to open them up because I'm sick of looking at them. So. Legendary Collection Game Board Edition. Um, both of these have some sick game boards with them. And this one has, I believe this one has the three God cards as well. This is, I thought they were peeking through, but they're not. This is a, yeah, it's in a promo pack, which is a little deceiving. Wow, these, these ultimately super old cards, super old packs, like, oh my goodness, I can't wait to open those. That's gonna be insane. Let's check out the game board though. I've got the dual power one on. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna check this out though. This looks pretty crazy. So let's put this back. Honestly, I'm hoping to get one foil out of these uh, these classic packs. Ooh, that just sounded like a poot, a de poot. So first, let's actually open up the promos, which are really gorgeous. So you've got the three gods, and I think uh, red eyes, red eye. I can't remember red eyes, dark magician, and blue eyes. Maybe? Shit, I don't even remember. It's been a while since we've opened a legendary collection. Oh, Obelisk the Tormentor. So beautiful. Slifer the Sky Dragon. The Winged Dragon of Ra. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Dark Magician. And Red Eyes Bee Dragon. Wow, those are beautiful. Oh, what cards. What beautiful cards. So before we get into the packs, I do want to open up the play mat and uh, show that off and check it out. So we've got the gods on one side and the really cool characters on the back as well. So this is side number one, which is gonna be Kaiba Joey and Yugi kinda, which is really cool looking. And then side number two, which is the side we're gonna use, which looks absolutely bonkers. Um, it's interesting, actually. I th it was a little, it's a little different than I thought it was gonna look. So it's got like some really cool cards. Like uh, we've got Slifer, which is my favorite guard card. Uh, the three obelisks, and then Black Skull Dragon, Exodia Necros, and Magician of Black Chaos. So a lot of cool cards, a lot of cool stuff going on. Whew. All right, so we are gonna open up these in order, kind of. So Invasion of Chaos is gonna be last. Legend of Blue Eyes, Spell Ruler. Let's do uh, Dark Car. Yeah, we're gonna do them in this order. Dark Carsis. <laughs> All right, so I'm not sure if that's an order or not, but I'm hoping for something crazy. So Legend of Blue Eyes, these are the unlimited versions. Um, no foils guaranteed. We're hoping for at least one, two would be insane. So Legend of Blue Eyes, wow. Oh my goodness, taking my time through this. Miz, Mizaru Zazimi, a missile launching fish protected by deadly spikes. Root water, amphibian capable of calling a massive tidal wave from the dark seas to wipe out enemy, enemy monsters. Nice. Yumi, or Umi, I don't know which one is proper. Yurubi, fast on its feet, this dinosaur rips enemies to shreds with its sharp claws. Flower Wolf, rare. Silver Fang and Dark World Thorns, nice. Kuma Mutoko, a massive intelligent spider, traps enemies in its web. Trapwire Beast, this creature attacks with electromagnetic waves. And then Kash Cage Musha, the Blue Flame, serving as a double for the ruler of Blue Flame, is a master swordsman, well defined blade. And then One Eyed Shield Dragon. Dragon wears a shield not only for its own protection, but also for ramming enemies. Legend of, good old Legend of Blue Eyes. Almost all normal monsters. I mean, there's so many normal monsters in Legend of Blue Eyes. It's so it's just classic, nice and cool. Spell Ruler. So I'm um, hoping for any tune cards. Really would be just nutty. We can do some tune two cards. <laughs> Commencement Dance. Mechanical Snail. Upstart Goblin. Nice. That's a good card. Flash as Assailant. Decrease attack and defense. Oh wow, that's interesting. Cyberjar, nice and banned. 
Cyberjar. Oh man. Chorus of Sanctuary. Itegabun. Gaia Power. And Malevolent Nuzzler. Cyberjar's are really actually a pretty cool card to pull. Man, what a card. I think it's still banned. I'm pretty sure it's still banned. That card's insane. Metal Raiders. Gate Guardian um, is in here. And then what else is in here? We got um, Black Skull Dragon would be just ridiculous. Tremendous Fire. Dragon Piper. Tainted Wisdom. Oh! oh holy shit! Oh my god! I was not prepared. Oh my goodness, Gate Guardian. Are you serious? Secret Rare Gate Guardian. Guys, I don't even think that's... That's like one every other box. Oh my god. I was not prepared. Oh, the centering looks really good too. Jeez. Oh my goodness. And Witch of the Black Forest... Oh, I cannot believe we just pulled a Gate Guardian. That is insane. Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts, Armored Lizard, Immortal of Thunder, and Aki Beam. Oh my goodness. Oh, Gate Guardian. How beautiful. I've never, out of all my old days playing Yu-Gi-Oh, I never once pulled a Gate Guardian. Man, I was just watching Yu-Gi-Oh GX too, man. Oh my god, that was a godly pull. Oh my goodness, secret rare, gate guardian, straight out of a legendary collection. What on earth is going on? Wow, Pharaoh's Servant, that's, I mean, oh, I can't even believe we pulled that. Pharaoh's Servant, so, you know, Buster Blader, Thousand Eyes Restrict. Jinzo though. Jinzo was that card I never pulled either, and that Jinzo is just such a cool card. I mean, it's used in every deck, no matter what you were doing back in the day. I mean, Invitation to a Dark Sleep. All the all seeing white tiger. Infinite dismissal. Respect play. Appropriate. Nice. Reign of Mercy. Enchanted Javelin. Wing Weaver. Solomon's Law Book. I remember running the Wing Weaver, big old fat 2750 defense or attack. I mean, I can't believe we pulled that. That was just insane, man. Just made this video pretty much. Dark Crisis, Exodia Necros, some really cool cards in here as well. I've never pulled Exodia Necros either. Outstanding Dog Marin, non spell casting area, Guardian KS, Kelbeck. Guardian Trice. Nice. Falling down. That looks wicked looking. Dice reroll. Sasuke Samurai number two. And then Twin Swords of Flashing Light Trice to go with our Guardian Trice. Nice. All right. Here we go, baby. Invasion to Chaos. If I was going to pull another foil above it, it would be this. This, this, kid, this is just full of insanity. I mean, you've got... Um, the Black Lusters, obviously. Magician of Chaos would be ridiculous. Let's see if we can get something crazy. Multiplication of Ants. A hero emerges. Be gone, Nave. <laughs> Heart of the Underdog. Getsu Fuma. Nice. Energy Drain. Curse Seal, the Forbidden Spell. Sacred Crane and Chaos Greed. We are, it's hard to get greedy after pulling a Gate Guardian. What a legendary collection. I cannot absolutely refuse to believe that just happened what on earth i was not ready for that wow let's look at that thing again before we open our gx one holy mackerel just mint straight out of the pack just beauty I'm not sure what this goes for unlimited right now probably a lot 50 bucks maybe all right legendary collection two the game board edition. Um, out of this, I would really, really like to pull a Cyber and Dragon Secret Rare. I think that's uh, in the set. That would be my number one. Um, anything Cyber Dragon, though, would be sick. Cyber Twin Dragon would be sick. 
Um, this, any of the sacred beasts would be sick. But mainly Cyber and Dragon. If we pull a secret rare Cyber and Dragon, I will get so happy. We're going to be buying several of these legendary collections, one and twos to be opening. The next the next time I open, you see me open one of these on the channel, it's, begin, it's going to be because I bought like four or five of them. So um, Nice to have a Sacred Beast, though. Uh, five packs in here, nine cards per pack. I think you get a, I can't remember, you get like a super secret ultra and all kinds of stuff. So let's check out the Game Board Edition. These are so cool. I mean, to me, like, these are 30 bucks when they came out. Super hard to find now, but it's possible. I found this at a Walmart, and I found that that one as a this legendary collection at Target. And I almost didn't buy it, and it had a freaking Gate Guardian sitting in it. Just ridiculous. Let's check out this promo pack, which is nothing short of just fat. I give you a boatload of cards. I think you get the three Sacred Beasts and then just a bunch of random Dark Lord cards and stuff, I think. I don't know. Let's check it out. Raviel, the Lord of Phantasm. Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames. Hammond, Lord of Striking Thunder. Those are so cool. Dark Lord Asmodeus. Dark Lord Superbia. Dark Lord Eden Array. Cyber Larva, which is nice. Lion Alligator. Spawn Alligator. Elemental Hero Great Tornado. Parallel Word, word, word World Fusion. Dragonic Tactics and Court of Justice. Nice. Ooh, man, I'm just, I'm still trying to take it all in, to be honest with you guys. This Gate Guardian pool was the, probably the coolest thing we've opened so far on the channel. So, really cool. Let's check out this game board. I like the game boards a lot, actually. Really cool. So, the this side, we've got all the characters, which this looks absolutely sick, to be honest with you. We got got uh, Astro Phoenix, I think is his name, Jesse. See, those are the two guys from, like, Later in the series, of course, Jaden, Chaz, and Zane. Zane's my fave. My boo thing. <laughs> Tripods want to be a little freaking weird. All right. So we'll use the Sacred Beast side, actually. This looks kind of cool. So let's see what we can do, guys. Slifer's going to watch over us in that corner. Um, wow. All right. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Mega Packs. The goal is a Cyber N Dragon. I believe it's a secret rare. Let's see if we can get really everything in this set. Like, I want, like, a complete set of this. I just love GX. Elemental Hero Bubble Man. System Down. D Counter. And she, Sheen's Chancellor. Dandelion. Neos Wise Man. That's pretty sick. Crystal Blessing is the rare. So you do get a Super Ultra Evil Hero Infernal Gainer and Elemental Recharge. Nice. Neos Wise Man will probably sleep him up. Crystal Blessing is pretty cool. Neos Wise Man. Pretty neat. Cool. Dandelion Sheen's Chancellor. Alright, pack number two. Elemental Hero Wild Heart. Nice. So we're really going to keep that going. Chamber Lane of the Six Samurai. Destiny Hero Dreadmaster. Super Polymerization. That's actually, I think that might be the best card in the set. Nice. White Knight Dragon, Ultra Rare. And Crystal Abundance. Nice. Yeah, I think that's the one of the most valuable. Bristinatrix, Double Edged Sword Technique, and Dread Servant. Wow. Super Poly is a really good pull. Secret rare looks gorgeous. Super duper polymerization. All right, nice. Can we get the king, the fusion sacred beast guy, or a cyber and dragon? Cyber and dragon, please. Element hero, Captain Gold. Six samurai, Yariza. Rise of snake deity. Elemental hero, wild cyclone. That looks really, really cool. Dandelion again. Come on, man. These duplicates. Cyber. Let's go, baby. Cyber Dragon Ultra Rare. That is gorgeous. Let's go. Another Crystal Blessing. Success probability 0%. Let's 
I am so happy we just got a Cyber Dragon. That is, oh my goodness, that is so sick. Yes, Papa. Yes, Papa. All right, can we pull, I'm actually gonna sleeve this E-Hero Wild Cyclone. He looks pretty nasty. I've not seen him in the show yet. Pretty cool. All right, Cyber and Dragon. Can we, can we make this a stupid nutty opening by getting a Cyber and Dragon? Hero Heart. Elemental Hero Mariner. Thunder King Ryo. Really good card. Elemental Hero Wild Cyclone again. Elemental Hero Neos Elias. Alias. And then Divine Neos. That is insane. Crystal Abundance Hero Spirit Grave Squirmer. Those are really good cards, man. I mean, like, I could just, I could open these all day. Just love seeing these cards. All right, guys. Last pack of Destiny. Gotta get me that Cyber Dragon. Come on, baby. Come on. Double dude. Rainbow Neos. Oh, there we go, baby. Cyber Twin Dragon. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Oh, what an opening. Card blocker, ultra rare, and a fake hero. Man, I am stoked with this opening, baby. This has been absolutely amazing. Cyber Twin Dragon. Oh, Secret Rare. So beautiful. This card is so... Like, back when this came out, this thing was broken, man. I mean, two Cyber Dragons, which are really easy to, you know, get in your deck with some of the stuff. I mean, you can... 5,600 today. And it's not like uh, Black Luster Soldier where it was like, you know, if you destroy a monster in battle, you can attack again in a row. This guy can attack twice, like, doesn't matter what. Like... 5,600 points of damage to your face if you don't have any monsters out. I mean, this is, this guy's bad as a bone. Man, this has been an amazing opening. I can't even... I'm so glad we opened these tonight. Uh, the heat has been with us. I really want more of these Rainbow Neos. I really want more of these packs to open. These GX cards are just way too cool. Thank you guys so much for this uh, video. Um, you know, I'm excited to open more stuff with you guys. And... I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe and like the video. Subscribe to the video as well. That's a thing. <laughs> can't, still can't believe we pulled the Gate Guardian. I mean, I'm glad we got two of the three Cyber Dragon cards because I wanted all three, but that's really hard to do in one box. But the fact that we pulled a Gate Guardian just tells you how godly this video was. It was stupid. This is the nuttiest video on the channel so far, and it's just going to get crazier. That was one box of each. Imagine if we opened like four. Crazy. So thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you in the next one. This has been Harrison's Hobbies. Peace out.